Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to share with you the student RFID management system that I have created. This is a full stack web application built using the MERN technology stacks for what we call as the MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. In this system, we could execute create, read, update, or delete, or crude operations in our data which is stored in our database using MongoDB Atlas. We will use the same applications later in our Internet of Things RFID project. Are you excited? Then let's start exploring. This is the home page of my RFID management system. As you can see, I have a list of my students displayed here together with their information. So I have here the student ID, the course, and the assigned RFID tag number. Of course, we can add more information in this list, but for this homepage, we're just displaying these three information. We can see the list of students also by clicking these pagination buttons here. If we would like to edit a student info, then we could click this edit button, change any information in here. So say for example, this curry, let's change this one to curry jane, click the edit. Click the edit button. As you can see, it's now successfully edited. If we check our database, right here, before it's curry, and then let's try to do a refresh. Then you could see that the first name has now changed into curry jane. Another thing is that we can add a profile pic for our student by clicking this Add Profile Pic button. And whatever image that we have add here will be uploaded into our server. So say for example, I click this Add Profile Pic, then select something like this one. Then it gets displayed in here, and in our server, it will be uploaded into the backend folder inside the images folder. So let's try that one. Let's click edit. Then it says that successfully edited information. If we click the back button right now, you could see that the image was successfully updated in here. And if we check our backend images folder, you would see that it is assigned a specific random ID, which we could counter check in our database. Right now, so let's try to refresh. Now you could see that there is an assigned image pic in here. Next, we will try deleting this information about this student. So to do that, Let's try the delete. And then, as you can see, the text box here becomes not editable. And if we try to delete this particular student ID, so before we do that, let's go again into our database. And then, let's filter the student ID. Click the apply button. You would see we have in here. So let's now click the delete button. It says that it was able to successfully delete the student information. Let's verify it into our database right now. And then we just need to set the same ID, student ID, and click the refresh button. As you can see, the ID is now nowhere to be found. So let's try 
filtering it out and then let's click apply and you would see that in our query result there is no data so we were able to successfully delete the student information if we now click the back button next we will try adding a new student so we click the add student in here and then we input an ID such as this one and then we add our first name in here and then add an information and then let's click the address as Manila and then let's try adding an RFID badge and then we click we just copy first this is student ID and then click the also, we try to add the profile pic. Let's say, for example, let's try adding this one. And then we click the Add button. Then it says that we have successfully added the student information. Let's check the database. And then let's try refreshing this one. Click the Apply. As you would see, the, the details of my info was added into our database. If we now go back, into our home page and then go at the last page you would see that I the information about me is added to the list next, the next thing we would like to check is for the search functionality so in our case in here if we could search we could do a search for a student ID or an RFID number search so let's try to do the student ID, RFID search, so for example, this one, the AABBCCDD. Then I'll try to click the AABBCCDD RFID button here. And then we click the search button. Then you would see that my information is now displayed in the list. So now that it is displayed, we can now execute any edit or any delete information. In my records and that's all for the functionality we also have this clear button in here so if we would like to clear the search it will just clear the search so say for example we were looking for this one and then search to that and you wanted to get the list again we just click the clear search button in here then it will go back to the original list of my students and that's it the complete code for this project is in my github repository which you can access from here and you would see that there is a specific steps there that i have already added so that you could run this project all you have to do is to clone this project or download it as a zip file just make sure that you have installed node.js and have created your own MongoDB Atlas database server cluster. You can also find out the complete write-up of this project in my website, wherein I detail all the steps that on how to do this project on your own if you wanted to explore it more. I will put the link to my repository and the write-up also in the description of this video. As a summary, I have shown you my RFID management system built using the Merge stack. I have used Node.js and React components in building this project. We will use this same project later when we build our complete RFID Internet of Things project. So you can stay tuned for that later. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!